What's up guys, I'm Jamal and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Jacksonville, Florida's beaches. I don't know why I said that so slow. It's very hard for me to get that out. I don't, I don't know why. But anyways, more specifically, we're going to be talking about Atlantic Beach and Jacksonville Beach because they are right next to each other, but they are very two completely different beaches. I don't see a lot of videos on YouTube about the beaches of Jacksonville and there are, and actually those two are probably the really, in my opinion, the nicest beaches of Jacksonville. So I just feel like this would be a really helpful video if you're planning on going vacation there and you just want to know a little bit more about the culture and what it's like to go to a beach in that area. So yeah, let's get started. Let's not waste any more time and before we begin if you find this video to be helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up because it's really hard to battle the algorithm on YouTube so if you give it a thumbs up it really does help me out in the channel and the videos and yeah and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this Jacksonville Beach brings in a wide range of an audience you know tourists young adults old people mid-age people families groups of friends like just everybody goes to Jacksonville Beach it's the beach that you go to when you're looking for just some like fun you know like think about like when you go on vacation like if you're going to a beach you go to Jacksonville Beach that is the beach you go to because it's like the main attraction really of the whole area it's where the festivals are held it's a big beach very spacious uh lots to do there it's open all hours of the day day and night and actually if you're there at night um you sometimes will see baby turtles walking around the beach which is also pretty cool you'll see the turtles and you'll see like their homes because they'll like have these like holes in the beach it's like really it's really cute yeah now Jacksonville Beach is right in between Ponte Vedra and Atlantic Beach so if you're if you're wondering the location it's right in between those two also another thing about Jacksonville Beach is they have uh volleyball nets so if you're like into volleyball at all or not into volleyball they have those and it's actually a good way to make some friends um start up a game if you are going there on vacation or if you're moving there um it's just like Jacksonville Beach is where you go if you're just looking to have fun if you're looking to throw a bunch of drinks back listen to music dance go with friends party like it's just like where you go to just like be wild be crazy and just like have a good time it's jacksonville beach it's like a i'd say it's like a tourist area but like it's it's very like homey in a way too like i used to go there a lot and it never felt like oh my god there's people everywhere like this is annoying like it actually like is a good vibe because the beach is so big so yeah that's jacksonville beach now let's talk about atlantic beach atlantic beach in my opinion is more of a nicer beach it's it's where you go if you're looking for more of chill vibes like it's one of those beaches where it's secluded um you go there to really just chill and listen to the waves so usually you'll see a lot of old people there like by themselves or you'll see like couples just chilling or even like young single people that just want to like chill out and read a book or something like it's like more of a low-key vibe like it isn't like wild and crazy so if you're thinking about going to that beach for that don't atlantic beach is also very plush and sometimes even when you're walking down the beach like you will see like the mansions like up the hill like along the beach and it's just like so beautiful it's like a, it's like a good vibe like i could see why it is the way that it is there now atlantic beach is right next to jacksonville beach but it's not as close as you would think it's pretty far down it's a far further drive down from jacksonville beach so it's also another reason why it's probably more quieter low-key there because it's super far away from all the drama and the action but there's still a lot of shops and restaurants and hotels right outside of of the Atlantic Beach so it is still like a tourist area a lot of people do go there like for 4th of July you know holidays and just walk around that area but it's still more low-key than the Jacksonville Beach particular area and Atlantic Beach doesn't have like volleyball nets or anything like that it's more just like literally just like sand and water oh and the sand is beautiful like it's it's like the cleanest sand compared to Jacksonville Beach like the sand at Atlantic Beach is like white sand like it's amazing there but no it's not like there's no volleyball there there's no none of that in those games and stuff like it's more just like relaxed chill vibes boom so if you're looking for somewhere to go for like a date night or just to chill and read a book on the beach or literally just like relax i would recommend atlantic beach thank you so much for watching this video if it was helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up because the algorithm is very hard to beat on this youtube 
website. Um, but thank you so much and make sure to subscribe if you haven't for more videos like this. Talk to you in the next video. Peace.